What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be doing a slow cooker recipe today with some Mexican inspired flavors and it's going to be keto friendly. It'll be super easy to make. You can just set this up in the morning before you go to work, come home eight hours later and you will have a ready to go meal ready to serve. You can use this chicken meat like in so many different other recipes. You could add it to tacos. You could wrap it in lettuce leaves if you're doing keto and it will last a while in the refrigerator. So it's perfect for food prep and it'll be super simple. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so let's go over ingredients. We have here cumin. I have about a quarter cup of finely chopped cilantro. I have four strips of nitrate free bacon, about a cup and a half of baby portobello mushrooms, about a quarter cup of parsley finely chopped, about a half cup of my homemade salsa. I'm going to put the recipe for this up on the iCard. If you guys want, you can use store bought, but this stuff has a lot more flavor and it's fresh so it'll make the recipe taste that much better. I have about eight cloves of garlic finely chopped, a half of a red pep bell pepper and a half of a white onion and they're coarsely chopped not crazy fine. I have a half a lime. I'm gonna be using uh, about a half a cup of white cooking wine two tablespoons of grass-fed butter, about three cups of celery, four organic free-range chicken breast, and salt to taste. So that's basically everything. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna render the fat from the bacon and our wok, and we're gonna saute some of our vegetables. Okay, with our wok on high, we're gonna drop our pieces of bacon. I cut these into small pieces. And I just want to render the fat to get some of that bacon flavor into our chicken. And also because this is a keto friendly recipe, we're going to be wanting that extra fat. Now if you guys are not doing keto, you don't have to use this bacon. Uh, you could actually leave it out. But this will also add a lot of flavor besides just fat. Now we're going to add the garlic. This is the kind of recipe that will make your neighbors come knocking on your door and ask you what you're cooking. Now we're adding our peppers and our onions, cooking in that, that bacon fat and getting all of that caramelized goodness from the bottom of the pan. Now we're adding mushrooms. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put in our crock pot is the celery because we want the chicken to cook on top of it and the other vegetables and all that juice and bacon to actually seep into the celery it's gonna make it more flavorful then on top of that we're gonna go and put our chicken this is all gonna fall apart so we'll mix it up as it cooks later on Go ahead and load our chicken there. Then we're gonna go ahead and drop in about a teaspoon of cumin. Gonna drop our cilantro. Actually, that's the parsley. Then our cilantro. Drop our veggies in. Get it nice and spread out. So we're gonna marry together as it cooks, anyways. Drop about two tablespoons of butter in, and that's gonna add a nice creaminess to the dish because chicken breasts are normally really lean that have no fat on them, so that's the reason why we're using this butter to give it more flavor and to infuse all of those ingredients together. Now we're gonna drop our hot salsa, a half a cup of white cooking wine. And about another teaspoon of salt, maybe a half a teaspoon, you can always add more later. We're basically just going to cover it now. And I'm going to do this one on low heat for eight hours. 
and we're gonna come back and check it in about eight hours and re get ready to plate it. Okay, so let me bring you guys in and show you what this looks like. This is actually about uh, after 10 hours. I actually left and left this here um, cooking. So the chicken is completely falling apart as you guys can see. And what I usually do is I'll just um, break it all up so it's like pulled pork consistency or chicken and I mixed it in with that sauce and that's how I will serve it you could use this to make uh, lettuce wraps you could use it uh, to put over um, cauliflower rice you could eat it uh, with regular rice if you're not doing keto there's a million options and you guys can see how tender this chicken has become now so um, it smells amazing so what I'll do is I'll put it on a plate now and give it a taste. Okay, so now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shred some cheese over it. I'm using um, cheddar. Just gonna add some extra flavor. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of chopped parsley for some color. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put a nice dab of sour cream on the top of this. And this will also give it some really nice flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a taste now. The moment of truth that we've all been waiting for, for an actual 10 hours. Chicken tastes amazing super super tender it has that little bit of bacon flavor in the background fresh parsley that i just added with the cheese and sour cream it's making it like super creamy like super super juicy and and very very tender i recommend you put this in in the morning and just leave it and you will have a delicious meal when you get home that i guarantee your whole family will enjoy